Hello guys, this is an unusual video for me if you follow my channel but this video is just about flashing the BIOS on the N, the HP Micro Server N series so the N30, the N40 and the N54L well you've probably been looking all over the internet or something and you've probably stumbled upon this now this video isn't going to have any video, it's just going to have some random pictures mainly for the fact that I'm only doing this video so that I can help people that have searched everywhere on the internet try to find a solution to a problem that they have or what but so yeah, so what you want to do first of all is go to the first link in the description it's going to be a link to AVA forums or AV forums and there's a guy on there, I forget his name, but he's got a wee monkey profile picture, I forget. Totally forget, but it's going to be the right link. And you want to download his file, it's a zip file, and it has and has a few stuff, run me in a file that's called, it has .rom, it's like 0000.rom. Okay, so, you need, after that, you need to find the, the lowest as can be storage USB device. What I had done was, I was trying to lift 200 gig, 32 gig, and 64 gig, and I kept getting invalid system disk or so voice crack. I've been up all night, my throat's sore. So, invalid system disk, multiple tries. I, I must have tried for about two or three days, trying to get it. Different files, different this, different that different computers, different windows versions, different everything like, I could not do it at all but then in some random Russian forum that was like in the 50th page of Google searches I saw a guy that said you needed the lowest as can be USB so I dug in my, well, dug in my cupboards and stuff like that and I found an 8 gigabyte flash drive so I flashed that guy's, the, the bays or whatever, but I didn't have full access to the North Bridge, the PCIP I think, I didn't have full access, I only had access to, I think, the North Bridge, when I needed access to the South Bridge, I think I said the South Bridge before, but, so what I've done is I looked about and I found a version of the BIOS on biosmods.com and what you need to do is literally download it. Take copy the exact name of that 00200 ROM from the the base file and copy it to the one that you downloaded from BIOS mods. So that you're replacing the BIOS that came with the base with the one from BIOS mods. After you've done that, you may need to make sure it's still on the profile or somehow copies everything from your desktop or something so if it's in its own folder with that then that's you there should be a file called run me it has to be in the same folder along with every other file as a run me and once you do that you run that but you might get a the device is right protected so you want to go into your cmd and type in disk part uh, if you don't understand this bit you can type it up how to cleaner drive and CMD. So you type in disk part. I'm going to do it right now just so I know I'm telling you exactly. So go into your CMD, type in disk part and you'll have to give it permission. So then you want to type in a list space disk all to the pods. Then you'll see a disk 0, disk 2, disk 3, disk 4, disk 1, whatever. And you want to know what one is your flash drive, so you'll probably see it because of the size. So you should try to go for 8 gig. Then type in select space disk. In this case, our flash drive is 3. So after you do that, we'll say disk 1 or disk, whatever disk you selected is now selected. Type in clean, and then it will say like. Well, let's see, I'll say, drive's now cleaned. 
After that, you can just go into the Run Me settings or the Run Me program, select your USB drive and wait. If it says it's taking too long, just click OK and let it be. After you've done that, you want to take it out and you want to prepare your micro server. Now, in my opinion, the safest way, and I've flashed on a few of these boxes, micro service, whatever you want to call them, in my opinion, what I do is I disconnect the any PCIe cards, um, take out all the drives, unplug everything inside so that the drives, you just make sure the drives are out, make sure there's nothing connected to it except from the power cable, the UA and the VGA. So once you've done that, you just put it in and you probably should have your USB boot thing set to priority high so it automatically boots into the USB. So, after you've done that, it's pretty simple, you turn it on, and just wait. Now it might say, press this, press that, but you just leave it. Don't press anything. That is essential, right? Now, it will say programming blocks, and have B's or P's or whatever. Now, don't touch it. See, even if it takes 10 minutes, don't touch it. Until you get a C... I think semicolon and a backslash and you can type freely like you can type your name into it and click N on that will say command not recognised don't touch it until you see a C at the end and it still looks like a command prompt just don't touch it because that might fuck everything up probably will fuck everything up not sure because I've never fucked it up so after you've done that you want to just turn your device off pull out the USB drive and power it up. Now, mine worked the first try and this has happened to two systems I think out of about seven. Um, and what you want to do is if per se you get into the BIOS and everything's working and you turn it off and turn it back on and it doesn't boot. First thing this happened to me I thought I bricked it and I didn't. So I tried taking out the CMOS battery, waiting a few seconds, but I forgot to unpower it. I forgot to take out the power cable, so it was still getting power. And CMOS, taking out the CMOS wasn't doing anything. So you need to take out all the cables, just mainly the power supply cable, and just take out the CMOS battery, wait a minute, put it back in, and that's it. It worked for me. It's worked on any of the systems that I've had this problem with and it just it worked and then I had full access um, if you need any help I'll have my website in the description you can get my discord through that or I'll just put it in the description you can comment and I'll probably try and help you if I can be asked but again try messaging me in discord because I'm more active on there um, I mean like the video but really what I'm hoping is is that if you're stuck or something because I spent two days and I wish there was a video like this because all I see was fucking Joe Miner or Jim Stutzman talking you through it but they didn't actually provide any of the links or the size of USB but I mean there you go uh, again sorry this is just practically of pictures but anyway, I'll see you in the... Well, it won't be a next video, so I'll just see you. Bye. Also, I forgot to mention that if you do break your system, it's not my fault you're doing this. You're willing. I feel sorry for you, but you are doing this under the risk, knowing that there is a very small chance that this will happen to you. Goodbye.